friends welcome once again in this session we are going to discuss what is random process so to understand random process we consider a communication system here all the information bearing received signals are random and unpredictable so in order to evaluate the performance of the communication system there is a requirement of statistical characterization of received random signal as the random signal is a function of time and bear three characteristics which collectively called as random process first the random signal is information bearing signals such as voice tv signal digital data sensor output signals etc secondly during transmission there is a possibility of interference by another electromagnetic waves which is not intended to be received by the receiver also a type of noise called a thermal noise is observed due to random motion of electrons in the receiver circuit which consists of conductors and electronic devices so the information bearing signals which is random in nature also varying with respect to time are collectively called as random process now here we note a point since the value of random signal or process cannot be predictive in advance but it can be analyzed statistically in terms of parameters and these parameters are average power and power spectral density next let us discuss the properties of random process random process is basically a function of time also random in nature because of these two properties the random process cannot be predicted exactly but can easily analyzed in terms of statistical parameters such as average power and power spectral density now we note a point regarding random process first point is like random variables random process can easily express in terms of sample space denoted by capital s and the outcome of any random experiment is associated with sample points that is denoted by small s these sample points corresponding to a sample function which represents a time varying function or a waveform and the last the collection of all possible outcomes is called as ensemble this term is also a function of time for better understanding of random process we consider any random experiment which having a sample space capital s this sample space having n possible sample points also called sample function which is also a time varying function and the collection of all n possible sample function is called ensemble that is also a function of time now each sample point as a function of time can be represent by a function called capital x function t comma s where interval of time t is from t greater than minus t but less than plus t which having a total observed period of 2t now as we have taken n possible sample point and corresponding to this we have n sample functions that is x function t comma s1 to x function t comma sn now within these n functions we first fixed a sample point si that is called as x function t comma si this sample function corresponding to fixed sample point s suffix i and it is simply written as x suffix i function t where i equals to 1 to n after fixing a sample point s suffix i we can also fix time within observed period of 2t so let us consider a fixed time t suffix k and the corresponding set of samples function becomes x1 function tk comma x2 function tk up to xn function t suffix k that is called a set of random variable 
This set of random variable also written as capital X function TK comma S1 X function TK comma S2 up to X function TK comma SN and this represents indexed ensembles or family of random variable also called as random process. So random process is defined as indexed function X function T comma S. Also for the shake of simplicity indexed function is written as X function T that is called as random process. Now we can easily differentiate between random variable and random process. When the outcome of any random experiment is mapped to real number then it is called a random variable while when the outcome of random experiment is mapped to a time varying function or a waveform then it is called as random process. Now let us discuss the relationship between sample space and ensemble of sample function. For this we consider a sample space capital S which contains n sample points S1, S2 up to Sn that correspond to the outcome of any random experiment. Now each sample point is assigned as a function of time within observed period of 2t. So the sample point S1 is assigned to a waveform X1t that corresponding to the first trial of experiment within time range of minus t to plus t. Similarly, S2 to Sn is assigned to waveform X2 function t to Xn function t waveform that is shown in figure. Now, on these waveform as a function of time, we take a fixed time t suffix k that is within observed period of 2t. As this fixed time t suffix k, we find function x1 function tk, x2 function tk up to xn function t suffix k and the collection of these function of fixed time t suffix k we call this collection as index family of random variable or simply called as ensemble and this process of assigning outcome to time varying function of waveform called as random process. So the sample space is simply a collection of sample point and when the sample points are mapped to time varying function then it is called as ensemble. Next we are going to discuss a special case of random process that is called stationary random process. To understand this we consider a large range of possible random process. And to restrict this wide range, random process is divided into number of time intervals called samples. And out of these sample intervals, most of them having identical statistical property. So such sections of random process with identical statistical properties are called stationary random process. And these random process behave as time invariant system where the impulse response does not vary with time. Also in our real world problems stationary random process fits satisfactory and also represent mathematically in a precise manner. Now consider a random process that is x function of time t which is observed at time t1. So the probability distribution function of x function t1 is given by capital F function small x at observed time t1 which corresponding to any random process x function t. Since we know that in case of probability distribution function of assigning real number x then this function is called random variable. Now again suppose the random process is observed at time t1 plus tau. Then the distribution function for random process x function t1 plus tau is said to be stationary process if it is independent of time. 
and equal to the distribution function that is capital F function x corresponding to the random process that is x function t1. So this is called a stationary process of first order for all values of time t1 and tau. So this stationary process of first order can be described mathematically in terms of statistical parameters such as mean, mu and variance sigma square. Here both parameters are also independent of time. So in case of stationary process of first order, statistical parameters are mean and variance. Next, we consider random process capital X function T at two points of time T1 and T2. So in this case, we find joint distribution function denoted by capital F function X1 comma X2 for two time varying function X function T1 and X function T2 which is same as joint distribution function for real number x1 and x2 that is corresponding to random variable. Now within large range of possible random process, we find some random process which is observed at time t1 plus tau and t2 plus tau, hence called the stationary process of second order. And in this case of second order stationary process, we have statistical parameter which are covariance and correlations and these parameters are also independent of time. Similarly, this can also applicable to kth order stationary random process. Now we note an important point. The random process is said to be strictly stationary if the joint distribution of any set of random variable is also invariant with respect to t equals to 0, that is the location of origin.